Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Rak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together. As promised, we will be attacking Oldenburg very soon. We'll just have to wait until our morale charges up. And then I think it's a go. England is indifferent to us. I would like to get an alliance with them, but I don't think I will be able to swing it unless they change their attitude towards us. I could just take one... One little helper. I mean... Wh what is your army? What is Mecklenburg's army? Um, for Mecklenburg, we have 8,000 men. And Pomerania has now 14,000. That's not good at all. I could decrease the autonomy in Stade. Will that change our force limit? No, it won't. That's sad. I could... I could develop... a province. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. One more unit could make the difference. Seven... Three... Six... Fifty-one. Why are you so cheap? Because they're not that developed. All right. Now it would make sense to develop um, a province that has a rather good trade good. That's okay, I guess. Why are these naval supplies so cheap? Hmm. It's our home province. Lauenburg is also tempting. Salt is the is the most expensive of the goods I have. I could Hmm I'm not sure what to do. I could spend some military power here. I don't want to fall back in military power. Oh, we'll just we'll just wait. You might be useful. Who are your enemies? Pomerania is your enemy. So you're not likely to give them military access. So Pomerania might not even be able to reach me. Are your enemies? Yeah, Pomerania is also your rival. You, you won't be able to come to me, I think. That would be fantastic. Let's see if it works out. Can I hire someone who will make my armies better? Yeah, he, but he's ex extremely expensive. Oh no! Yes. We will get him if it turns out that Pomerania joins the war. I think we'll get him. We cannot really afford this guy. But we'll try to. Now oh, you stay here. Ah, uh, no, I have my... I have my fleet mothballed. That's not good. Alright, don't bother with the, with the fleet stuff then. You stay in the port. And we'll declare war on Oldenburg. Have you changed your military? No, you haven't. And... Yeah, attack. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? No risk, no fun. Might be a bit of a risky move. So, Pomerania has joined the war. I will go ahead and get this guy, just to improve our discipline. Now beat him. Just kill him outright. That battle went really well. Oh yeah, we stack wiped them completely. Very nice. I'll go ahead and merge these armies up. 
Do you have any point in siege? No, you don't. So we'll go ahead, merge the units. And then we'll just leave 4,000 men and the rest will come over here. Oh no. Have you given them military access? No, but you have given it to Oldenburg. And when Oldenburg has it, everyone has it. That's bad. That's not good. That's really not good. We'll have to leave... We'll have to leave a token regiment here. But we really must move over there and beat the Pomeranian army. When they march into our lands. Not sure we will be able to do it. Build a man at arms. Build another one. Can I build any more? I know. You you will be here in, in a couple of days. On the other hand, I mean there's no rush. There's really no rush. They are going to siege Lübeck and they'll take their sweet time. Cannot do anything to us, really. Do they have... No, they don't. Stay here. Hmm... Um. Should we first siege Oldenburg out, or should we attack Pomerania with all we have? I'm not sure. I don't think it's a wise idea to let the, the standing army stay there, but we've got some time. Let's see how the different sieges progress. Cessation of church functions. Noble families were often granted control over church lands and appointments were made in many states in exchange for cash contributions to the crown's efforts. The crown, of course, lost control over some revenues this way in exchange for a short-term boost in revenue. So we can gain 40 ducats. Um, we get cessation of church functions. We get 15% less taxes. More papal influence, though, and a um, money thing. We could gain stability and lose papal influence. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Give me more stability, that's great. Now send 1,000 men over here. Let's see how they do. What about our ships? Yeah, they're still pretty damaged. Let's see what they can do to Lübeck. I have to go ahead and blockade them. Perhaps we can catch their fleet. Or rather destroy their fleet. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What's that? Oldenburg. Pomerania has a giant fleet, I didn't see that. We have to we have to flee. Flee. Flee from battle. Do it now. We did not lose any ships. We only lost lost a bit of our face. <laughs> I think that wasn't a really good decision to attack Oldenburg. And we've also lost the men to attack these guys by 30. We have 30 men less. Uh, too few to do the siege properly. That's not good. Disease outbreak. Hmm. So I guess that's disease in our camp. Going to increase the speed. Well, they are progressing nicely actually with their siege. That is not good. What do you have? You have eight galleys and eight trade ships. And we have three galleys, five trade ships, a couple of corks and one big ship.
That's not good. We we will have to do something about our pretty weak navy. No, that's it. That's it. We will have to attack Pomerania before they before they get even stronger. We'll leave a thousand men behind, so Oldenburg cannot really do anything. And I will go ahead and take some loans to recruit mercenaries. Because these are these are dire times. Circumstances commanded. Two, one, two, one, two. We are going over our force limit by quite a bit. But that is okay, I hope. Now you're still at military tech 4. You are building a castle over here that I do not like. Some peace. Now go on. Build me my mercenaries. Seems the mercenaries over here are built faster. 15,000. Now this will hurt us really quite a lot because we are way above our force limit and you have to pay dearly for that go on then build it let's attack them and hope for the best their leader holy cow they have a four shock leader everything is against us in this war I really hope at least the fight goes goes well. We have more discipline. Our morale is higher. And we have the better troops. But they have a four shock leader. That hurts us quite a bit. But we have the luck in the rolls. It seems we might be able to, to do that. Um, and they have been attacked by Brandenburg. Brandenburg to the rescue! <laughs> I laugh about your pretensions. Are you not giving? No, you're not granting military access anymore. So you have actually taken the military access from Oldenburg. So they couldn't go home and now their whole army is destroyed. Could I get military access? That would be swell. Because in that case, I would take the mercenaries. Take some mercenaries to siege the Zord. Oh, you have to stay here, or they will build units. And the other mercenaries we can use to attack them. Yes, Mecklenburg has allowed us military access. Now they will know what it means to um, fear us. They are attacking Lüneburg, my ally, though. I do not like that. Actually, it's a bad idea. You can, you can consolidate. How much are we over force limit? By four. So we have... Um, losing 13 per month. That's a lot. That's not good. Yeah, this, this mercenary army has to go. Now, leave a thousand men here get into the next thing. The Brandenburgians are, are here before us. So we will stay here and try to siege. Guys, come over here. We want the capital. Would be really nice if we could snack that. We need um, the estuary. 
Not sure we can swing it though. I guess we send a couple of men over here to get on with the siege. The Brandenburgians are destroying Lüneburg's army. I expect that. We are the leader of the siege over here. Because this is not really a fort, it's only a capital fort. They cannot they cannot defend this. Ah now I see why they are so strong, because they have Danzig. That's really really interesting. So we'll leave a siege over here. Just want to to stop them from building a new army. Cannot let that happen. Move over here. Let's see what we can get out of this war. I mean, Pomerania is not a co-belligerent, so it will be more expensive to take to take some land from them. But we'll see what we can do. Kolberg is now under our control. We send these units to Tuchel. That went really bad, really fast for Pomerania. And pretty good for us. I'm thankful for the extremely aggressive playstyle of Brandenburg. That will get us into conflict with them sooner rather than later. But um, we just have to grab more land than they can. Oh, and Denmark has gone ahead and annexed Holstein. That's not good. Now we control Danzig. And, um, yeah, I cannot really send these guys away. Send them home. I have to send them home to get rid of them. Same with these guys. Go home so I can can kick you out. You've done your job. We're losing a lot of money. But I think it will be worth it. New province. Go on then. Win the siege. Oh, we're not progressing over here. Get over there then. Just one unit. No, you go over here and you guys can go home. And these guys we will also have to send home. Didn't know that the siege did not progress anymore if you were below 1000 men, but it seems that's the case. So the the way the defensive system works now in Europa Universalis is you have these forts, like here, you can see the little castle, and they have a zone of control that you see when you have an army selected. This is within our fort in Bremen, zone of control. If they are actual real forts, you cannot move through them. You have to siege the fort first before you can, before you can pass. If you have only a capital fort, because all capitals get one free fort level, then you have to siege it, but the fort, uh, the capital fort, has no zone of control, so it cannot actually hinder you to move through. Now, get home, you guys, get booted. Thank you for all your hard work. And we are only one unit over, so that's quite good. I think our, f our force limit also got upgraded to 13 now. That's that's quite okay. I really like that. Might have been the autonomy change that it didn't factor in when I when I did it. Might be that I would have to wait until the end of the month. But yeah, we basically lost this uh, uh, won this pretty risky war. It also could have gone quite the other way. But we'll have to bring it to an end soon, so as not to 
kill ourselves economically. Thing is, the more I can take from from Pomerania, the less Brandenburg can take. What is your what is your war goal? Yeah, we've won the siege of Oldenburg. You want Greifswald, and that is what you got. So you you have Greifswald. That's okay though. You won't have the other things. Move you home. Yeah, uh, it seems like we will first be going east, and after that we'll go west. Although we might have to do something against Brandenburgian oppression. They are really are extremely aggressive. Taking these provinces. Now they are taking Pomerania. I mean, Pomerania is um, still aft in a way, because they have Danzig. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Poland hates them. Poland hates everyone who has Danzig. Unless they have them, have it themselves. Come on, England. We could be buddies. It would be, would be a great thing. Why not? I have to be sure to kick this guy out. Just because I do not want to pay the money for him. What else? What else? Um, take these guys out. Oh no. Oh no. Wrong thing. Merge you again. Take this flit out. Take these guys out. Take these guys out. And then you can... You can all be mothballed. And the other guys go home at war, protect trade in Lübeck. We've gone down quite a bit in in trade power. I'm not really sure why. Lüneburg will be forced to give Brandenburg 10% of their money and will annul all treaties with Pomerania and the Hansa. So Lüneburg is no longer our friend. That I don't like. That's, that's not good. It's really not good. Yeah, it seems like it could take quite some time to siege this out. I would like to finish the siege before we end this episode, so I'll go ahead and increase the speed. We have no breach in the wall, so we cannot storm the castle. We're still losing two per month. That's not good. Can we do anything else? Can I invest in a new technology? Diplotech? What? No, trade efficiency. That's actually quite good, we'll take that. That should bump up our income. Let's see. Yeah, it gave us one ducat per month. Ooh, perfect! Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and the businessmen of the realm to donate cash to the treasury, out of poor patriotism or in exchange for the sales or transfer of honorary titles and positions. Can gain 20 ducats or can gain 10 prestige. I want the ducats, thank you very much. Um, yeah, England, England really likes us now. I want to, I want to end this. Even though we are coming up on 25 minutes, I want to see how this war ends. Still no breach in the walls though. Cannot wait to get some, some actual cannons to be able to do a bit more effective sieging. But it seems that we are we are getting somewhere now. 35%. Our money situation has all also gone way better. We have losses of men. It must be must be all mercenaries. Go on then. I haven't got all day. Yes, very good. This is not occupied by us. Nearly all of Pomerania is occupied by us. Um, 
going to send these guys home to let them leave the service. Um, but I think the negotiation for peace we will have to do in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you did not like the episode, please tell me why in the comments. And um, yeah, I hope you join me next time. Thank you very much and uh, bye bye.